Hello, good evening. Freddy's, Mariela and Diana, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing today? Well, I can't complain. Uh, a little bit pained, I would say, because I got a shot uh, for a painkiller. Uh, like, 30 minutes ago. So I'm, I don't like uh, vaccinations that much, but I had to, uh, I had a, I have a terrible uh, toothache. Oh. Yeah, I think it's one of my molars. Oh but my anyways. Uh, but you feel better now? With the shot that I got, yes. It was painful, <laughs> but worth it. And and I didn't feel that I was going to survive the you class, did, to be honest. You apply it to direct to the tooth? No, no, no. No. Oh, at least. <laughs> no, that will be on Saturday, probably. I think <gasps> I, I will go to San Salvador just for that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, nah, thank you. It's not the first time. And I guess it won't be the last time. Good so. night. Good evening. Hello, good evening. <laughs> what kind of music are you listening Hi, good to, evening. Blanca? Hey, I found money. That's good. Sorry. You gotta check the ticket. Sometimes Sorry, it, there, there's money. What are you saying? Um. I was asking you what kind of music you were listening to because I heard that you were listening to something. Ah, uh, it's K-pop. Ah, uh, that's why I didn't get it. That's Chinese pop. K-pop is Korean pop. <laughs> Korean. Please, So Korean, Korean is different <laughs> to Chinese. Yeah, it's different. Hi. <laughs> Hello, good to see you, Blanca and Freddy's. Uh, Jackie, Beatriz, welcome. Good evening. Hey, you're back to your bedroom, Diana. <laughs> it looks like if you are in a, in a what do you call it? Uh, suite. At the Caesar's Palace or something like that. I would like to. <laughs> One day, especially if Flora gives you a good deal. <laughs> okay, I will ask her. Yeah, the information about, about going to Lima was really interesting, really cheap. Hello, Brenda, good to see you. Can you hear me? A moment, okay, perfect. Let me see who else is coming. Maritza, good evening. Francisco, Juan Jose, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Okay, so how are you feeling today? Good teacher, but you? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Thank God. Uh, let me check. I'm going to have the attendance ready. Okay, perfect. So, uh, welcome to the session number 18. So, uh, did you have a, a good day at work? Was it busy, a normal day, 
a different day, a strange day, a tiring day. Was it exhausting? If you want to use the, the top, that's exhausting. Um, it's more than tiring. And was it funny? Was it a cool day? Was it a relaxed? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Why did you disappear? I don't know. I, I lost the internet connection. <laughs> that was strange. Don't let it you go. Became, you became Olaf from Frozen. <laughs> I hope my reaction was not that 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 ugly. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. I think it's Brenda. Did you did you hack my computer? It's behaving in a very I don't strange know how way. Works. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, it seems like somebody's controlling my computer. Virus. That's Brenda. <laughs> yeah, I have a COVID-19 that... for PC <laughs> from El Salvador. I got a feeling that it could be Brenda, but I'm I'm not sure. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I think she's gonna hack Bitcoin apps. She what? She's gonna be a Bitcoin hacker. <laughs> a Bitcoin hacker. Ah, I got it. Yeah. So uh, it is a possibility. Now, can you see me? Yeah. I don't know why the computer keeps on turning off. I mean, the 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 camera keeps on. And, uh... <laughs> Going off by itself, like so, no, and somebody doesn't want to see me. Um, it's just one more way, guys. You, you you won't see me again later. So <laughs> it's strong. Uh, well, we can hold. A week and a half. Ah, so it's harbing probably. Because you, you heard that, right? It's not a week, teacher. It's yeah. a week and a half, like. He's confessing. Yeah, okay. So you are the imposter. <laughs> now that the, the game Among Us is popular, right? Okay, so we're going to uh, go on. Uh, Miguel, Janari, Jennifer, uh, Elizabeth, Flor, Laura, Karen. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I don't see everybody, but okay. I think my connection might not be that strong, so I will probably be turning off the camera for at times, right? So for some moments, just in case that is a problem. But you can have your camera on, okay, so that we can see each other, uh, or you can see each other. Now we're going to get started quickly. I'm going to call out your names and you just tell me if you're present or not. Uh, let me check. Can I be a listener in the discussion today? Ready? What do you say? He's praying. I'm reading Glenda's. She said, Good evening, teacher. Can I can I be a listener in the class in the class today, please? I have my second dose of COVID vaccine and it has given me a little fever and headache. I do not feel well, please. Okay, hold on, Freddy's. Uh, that was a message from many days ago. Belinda. From two, day, two days ago. And it's strange that you're getting that message. So I think somebody's, so Freddy's, you in control, probably. <laughs> that was a private Your message, copyright? I think. Uh, yeah, it's a direct oh message. God. I don't know why I uh -oh. used it. <laughs> oh, no, Glenda. I, I thought it was Brenda. Ah, okay. So now, now I read the message. Okay, but it's okay. Uh, 
I'm driving. I'll let you know when I get home. Ah, oh, okay. That's the reason why you don't turn on the camera. Thank you for letting me know about that, Flor. Uh, Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. So I'm Rolando. Hey, Rolando, the man of the hour. <laughs> yeah, but I, right now I'm driving. But I will stay. I will. Okay, drive safely. Okay, if you watch Fast and Furious, remember that it's just a movie. In real life, it's not like that. So be careful, okay? Try safely, slowly. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> okay, okay. Good evening, teacher. Don't be too. Good evening. Uh, I am driving too. I, I'm almost in home. Okay, okay. If you see Roland on the street, stay away from him. Just kidding, okay? Maybe we'll see floor. <laughs> okay, raising against you. Now we're going to uh, check who's here. Uh, if there are no more announcements. I'm here. Uh, let me check. What? I'm here. Okay, okay, so let's check. Uh, the first one is Ana Beatriz. Is it Valencia? I'm here. Okay, thank you, Miss Valencia. I'm going to use your last names today. Let's see if I memorize some. Uh, next one is Miss Barrios. Is are you there? Barrios de Sandoval. No. Miss Maravilla. Miss Science. I'm here. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez. Not here. Ms. Reyes. Ms. Here. Kings. Okay, there you go. <laughs> ah, so you see Princess Diana Kings. That's her last name. Okay. Uh, Ms. Ramirez is driving. Mr. Villacorta. Uh, here, the chair. Okay, thank you. Miss Saleda. Ramos. No, Rendero, sorry. Laura. No está. Laura, se fue. I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay, there you are. Excellent. I'm here. I'm here. Thank you. You reminded me of the of the song by Nick, I think. Okay, the next one is Mr. Guevara. Present teacher. Miss Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Mr. Avalos. I'm here. Very good. Miss Pineda. Miss Castellón. Present teacher. Excellent. Miss Ventura. Now here, Mr. Centeno. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Mr. Quintanilla is driving. Ms. Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Okay, good. Ms. Mendez Romero. Nope. Okay, next one is Ms. Cortez. I'm here. Ms. Morales. I'm here. Nice. Miss Navarro. I'm here. And Mr. Cortez. <laughs> okay. But you're not relatives, but you're not, right? No. No. Okay. Now, uh, I think I will turn on the camera again. Uh, I don't want to change the, the, the network. Because apparently 
one network is stronger than the other one. So let's cross fingers. Uh, we're going to move on. And as you remember, yesterday we didn't finish presenting. So today we're going to take, well, to listen and see the schedules that your, your classmates created in the breakout rooms. Okay, so one of the topics that we studied yesterday was about schedule, right? Work schedules, uh, the different uh, types of information that we normally include in that, that document. Uh, what else do you remember from yesterday? There were two more elements. The reading. Happiness. 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 Okay, we talk about, about happiness. Yes, and the other one. We talk about the overtime. Vocabulary, exactly. Vocabulary. So uh, the words get special. That's right. That's right. So uh, there was there was a vocabulary activity, and we practiced five different words. Do you remember them? Overtime was one. Break. Work Break. schedule. Work oh, in schedule. Uh-huh. Work schedule. Chief. Break. Chief. And Colleen. Right, it's not it's not Colleen, it's Colleen. Yeah, Colleen. So uh Colleen is something else in, in El Salvador, right? So we're going to move on and you have the last part, right? For sharing. So in the breakout room, we just listened to the group number three. That was Brenda, Freddy's, and Janari, right? So uh, Beatriz, Mariela, or Suleyma, who is going to share? Yesterday, I remember uh, Suleyma say she is, she is going to, to explain but I don't know if she is available. I think she's driving, no? Mm, I don't know. And Mariela, I don't know if you are there. So I'm going to share the schedule. Let me see. Yeah, I remember that Mariela was driving, so that maybe that's why. Yes, this is the schedule. Can you see the, the screen? Yes. Yep. Well, I'm going to start with the with the work schedule with with Mariela work schedule. She worked as an engineer support and she worked from Monday to Friday. She worked from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And she has a she has one hour for break. Suleyma worked as supervisor and she worked Monday to Sunday. This week, she is working from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And she has one hour for break. She has a day off on Wednesday. And my work schedule, I work as a supervisor. I work from Monday to Friday. I work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. And I have a, a one hour, I have one hour for break. And that's it. Excellent reactions, please. Thank you so much. Um, the hour break is apart from lunch, or it's the same one? It is the same. It's the same. Okay, okay. 
Thank you so much for sharing that, Liz. Okay. A really good job. The next one is the uh, group number two. We had Floor, Jackie, and Harvey. Okay, I'm going to, to talk about that. Okay, Jackie, go ahead. Don't worry, we'll wait for you. Okay. Can you Sounds see? Like they're killing someone. Wait a second. Yes. Um, Let me see. Okay. This is the uh, or a schedule. Floor, for example, she works from Mondays to Fridays yeah. from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, her day off, well, she works one Saturday or two Saturdays per month or uh, twice a month. And she, she has one hour to have lunch uh, every day. She said that she takes some uh, minutes um, to break, but without permission every day. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, yes, she said that, okay. Harbin works from Monday to Fridays from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And he has an hour to break uh, to take lunch and his day off are Saturdays. In my case, I work from 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Mondays to Friday. And I have an hour to take a lunch and my day off uh, are Saturdays and that's it. Wow, you have a very long schedule. <laughs> yes, yes, I have a long schedule. Do you live far from your job? And uh, I live uh, well, in bus, it takes me uh, one hour to my uh, home, to my work, from my home to my work. Okay. And uh, when the traffic is jammed, uh, I arrive home maybe at 7 p.m. Wow. Well, but you, you have a lot of energy because I see you with a lot of energy in class. That's really good. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing, Jackie. Amazing job. Okay, class thank you. more reactions thank for you. them, please. Thank you. So I'm to use hear. it. Ta -da. Okay, so yeah, we haven't talked too much about that, but I imagine that the majority of you who live in San Salvador experience a lot of uh, traffic and delays. So you have to wake up really early, you get home late um, because the times that I have gone to San Salvador, I have seen that it is hectic. That would be the word or chaotic, right? Uh, some specific times. Um, so yeah, that's the part that I don't like about San Salvador, I think. Yeah, traffic, it's complicated. Um, but the good thing is that we have at work, we have a job, right? We have a workplace, we have something to do. Uh, despite all, despite all, right? The inconveniences that we have had since last year. Now we're going to continue with the room number five. That was Blanca, Karen, and Ruth. Who's gonna share? Okay. I think that Oh my God, who is the another girl that was in in our group? Uh, it was Ruth, Ruth but he, 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 she, she lost he connection. didn't join. Ruth. Uh, she lost connection in the, in the last she, minute. She the got class. issues yesterday, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have the, the schedule. But maybe her. she can share with us. Uh, 
after you finish with uh, Blanca and Karen's information. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, Blanca is a manager assistant and her schedule start at 7 a.m. and finish at 5 p.m. since Monday to Friday. On Saturday, um, she start at 7 a.m. until 12 p.m. Uh, her day off is on Sunday and she have one hour break for take meals from Monday to, to Friday. Excellent. So in my case, I'm human resources manager. I started at 8, at 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, this is Monday to Friday, except for Friday that I, I, I finish at 5 p.m. And I have one hour break. That is for lunch. For lunch, yes. Excellent. And I don't work Saturday and Sunday. I have two days, two days off. Okay, perfect. And wait a second, we're going to see, or uh, Ruth, are you there? No, so in the meantime, we're going to stay with your information. So thank you so much, Karen and Blanca for sharing that. Class for them, please. Excellent. Very clear, straight to the point. That's it, right? Now, um, we're going to the room number six. Let me check Who's, who was in room number six. Diana. Francisco, Juan Jose, and Maritza. So who's gonna share from that from that group? I need to share, but I don't know if you watching. Diana. Hello. Can you explain, Diana? Okay. Um, our schedule starts with Francisco. He works as Persian's agent, agent from Monday. Purchasing to agent, okay. Agent from Monday to Saturday. Uh, he starts work at 7 a.m. to 40 p.m. every day. From and seven to four. Yeah, seven okay. to four. Okay, from seven to four. Yeah, remember that it's a combination, and right? We normally use from two, from two, okay? okay? From two, um, and you can say, for example, from uh, until, that's another, another option. Instead of saying two, you can say until or till. Uh, yeah, so that would be all. Sorry. Okay. And his day off is on Sunday. And he has break for lunch every day at two at it, uh, no, it's not mid, it's at noon, right? Mm, that's right. At at noon to one one p.m. And me I'm um, working from Monday to Friday. I'm gonna start working at 8 a.m. to from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday I work from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Every day from Monday to Friday I have one hour for break. Uh, from noon to 1 p.m. And Juan Jose, he's managed careers and he starts work at 
from 8 a.m. 8 a, 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 a to 6.30 p.m. every day. Uh, and on Saturday, he works from 8 a.m. to noon. And his day off, it's on Sunday, as Francisco and me. And, and he Saturday? has Saturday, Saturday, uh, he's free on Saturdays and Sundays okay. too. Okay, so you have the two days off, uh, Juan Jose? Yes. Yes, okay. The weekend off. And he has break for lunch every day from Monday to Friday uh, from noon to 2.30 p.m. That's enough time to have lunch, take a nap, <laughs> take and a look for a cup of at, coffee. At <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. Or to eat. Or to eat. Okay, Name to eat. Time. You can say to eat or for eating, right? To eat or for eating. So uh, something that I want to ask is about the vision or the position. Manage careers. What do you what do you mean by that, uh, Jose? Um, I am um, principal of the Dean of the Faculty in a university. Ah, so you are the Dean. Dean. Okay, Dean, yes, Dean. Yeah. Of faculty. In the case of, is, uh, in the case of instead of faculty, you say uh, school. So, for example, school of business or uh, school of education. So school is for facultad. Uh, when you say faculty, you refer to the teachers. Yes, I mean, mm -hmm. So at university level, there is a different vocabulary in English. So uh, you can say that you are the dean uh, of the business school, for example. Okay. Business school. business school dean, right? So, uh, excellent. I will write the word dean, that would be the cano. Very good, thank you so much for sharing, Juan Jose, uh, Diana and Francisco. So, reactions for them, please. The information is complete, a lot of information. Thank you so much. You did a really, really nice job. I prefer your your schedules uh, to the one that we were practicing. So these are clearer to understand, right? Uh -huh. And the last but not least is a group number seven that was composed by Laura, Jennifer, Merlin, and Miguel Angel. So uh, who's gonna share with us? Me, teacher, but Miguel will explain. Okay, so you will share the screen and Miguel will explain it. Miguel, are you there? Hello, guys. <laughs> this looks cool. Hello. Hello. Okay, we, we're we going to explain uh, our schedule. For example, in, in groups is Jennifer, Glenda, and Miguel. Me. Uh, first, uh, we have uh, Jennifer. She is accounting assistant. Uh, she worked for five uh, days on the week. Uh, her day off is only Sunday. She worked from 7.30 to 5.30 p.m. She has a one hour lunch. And uh, she, she worked every day um, from Monday to Friday. Um, Glenda, she is accounting assistant too. She worked for five 
uh, five days of the week. Week. Uh, she start work from eight a.m. to six p.m. from Monday to uh, Friday. Uh, she she has a uh, day off sar uh, Saturday and Sunday. And me, I am price manager. Uh, I work six days of, of the week. Six days a um, week. You can say six, six days a week. A week. Six, six days a week. Okay. Yeah, Thank six you. days a week. Uh, I start uh, work from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. from Monday to Friday. And Saturday start from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. I take mm -hmm. a rest uh, in the afternoon and my day off is uh, Sunday. Sunday, this okay. Is, this is our, our schedule, teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good, so class for everybody. Okay, so I really uh, enjoy watching this. Um, well, so the information is is uh, private, right? So you're sharing this in class and that's it, okay? So um, do you have any doubts or any questions about the, the schedules, about the vocabulary or something that was not very clear for you about that? That is specific activity. Sure. I, I would like to share in my schedule. May okay, I? Okay, perfect. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm supervisor from electrical maintenance. Maintenance. Um, uh -huh. um, I work. That's a uh, difficult to pronounce word. Mantenimiento. Maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. Maintenance. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, I work. I work from uh, Sunday to Saturday, For, excuse me, Monday to Saturday. Um, I work, my schedule is Monday to, to Friday. I am at uh, AIM from uh, 4 p.m. I have one hour for, for lunch. Um, yes. on, sat on Saturday, I work at night from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Normally, Sunday is my, my free day. This is my, my schedule. Very good, okay. So thank you so much. I appreciate you took your time to share with us. And reactions for Rolanda as well, please. I'm going to use a thumbs up. Okay, so taking the initiative is, is good, right? Uh, Diana, you want to say something? No, it was the reaction. <laughs> ah, you were looking for the reaction. Wrong. Yeah. Okay. I only see five people on, on the screen. What happened with the rest? Ah, you're having dinner, maybe. That's why you don't want to turn on the cameras. Now I see six people. Okay. Blanca is there. Karen is there. Okay. Good. Don't go away. Don't go away. So, guys, I we're going to uh, get started with today's topic. Let me share the screen as soon as I have this. Okay, so as you remember yesterday, we started right with the with the conversation. Today we had the presentation, but we're going to move on to the to the to the conversation. As uh, so it is something that we already established that we were going to be doing, right? Uh, since you all agree that it's a good practice and we're if it is something good, we're not going to change it, right? If you practice, if you use the language, that's important. the most important for me. So uh, what are we talking about today? So the topic is really, really funny. I think that it's, uh, it's nice to remember some things uh, when we were younger, like five years ago or 10 years ago, when we're, you were a child. Um, let's suppose that it was not that long ago. And I am going to be sharing with you the, the link, okay, through the chat. Give me just a moment. You see the reaction, right? All the emojis. Uh, because childhood is something 
that I think all of us uh, remember with good and bad memories, but overall it was good. So uh, there you have the link. You will have exactly uh, six minutes as yesterday. Okay, and you're going to be in the breakout rooms with two more people. Okay, so right now we have 21 participants approximately. So we're going to create six breakout rooms. And let me check one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Good. I'm not sure if. Okay, I'm going to make a modification here. Okay, I'm going, just going to move some people, okay, to a new room. Check, one, two, three, room four, room five. And the last one. Okay, we're good. So we're going to get started now. Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, the groups are complete, so we can start with the discussion. Ready, set, and go. Okay, so the invitation. Are you there? in San Salvador. What? I was Sorry. born in San Salvador. Okay, when? When? Top secret, she says. Yeah, when? <laughs> 45 when, when years ago. <laughs> okay. No. I don't believe that. That, that is the actual 1976. question. When? When I was were born you born? 1970. Okay. You, Juan Jose? <laughs> when I, I was born. <laughs> I was when born were you born? 1963. <laughs> I was born in... I, I, I was born in 1963. Two years. Um, two years uh, before to the earthquake from May from 1965. Ah, two days before. <clears throat> yes, two days before. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> what did you like to go when, to do? To do when you okay. were a child. Okay. You were a child, that's right. When I when I was, <laughs> what kind of thing of thing did you do as a child? <laughs> like play soccer, play with dolls, play with your cousins or something like that? Mm, yes, maybe play with... With the Barbies. Sorry? Play with dolls or with what? My sister was a Barbie fan. 
Yes, maybe with scissors or with friends. Okay. Uh, it is hard for me to uh, imagine uh, with the children because I, I don't I don't like <laughs> no I the I how to count didn't to like it. <laughs> uh, but in this moment yet first I, I wanna finish the my my study. So it's it's difficult. It's hard for me imagine with a, with a child or I no, don't know. <laughs> the, the question is about you when you were a child in the past. What did you used to do? What did you used to like when you were uh, a child? He's talking about your, the question ah, is about okay. your memories. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, no. Uh, yes, when you play with, with friends and uh, play with, I don't know, I, 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 uh, I cooked uh, with tierra. Earth, uh-huh. I, uh, I, I did a soap with this, <laughs> maybe. And I don't okay. know. Child, Irving? Yes, I am a little bit. When I was a child, I remember I, I, am, I was so child. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay, thank you. I say anyway. I, I, I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When? When? When, when were when? you born? When? Um, April 7? April. April 7. Not and to to drive a bicycle to to send for ten percent ah but, but ah, okay but yes but, but how we if, if we if we uh, how do you say like pelear or discutir uh, we argue discuss Yes, uh, if we discuss uh, with friends in, in uh, when we are when we uh, was children, uh, then we play with with them ever. So we are happy. <laughs> we, we are happy. happy. <laughs> we are happy. Uh, uh, aunque sin importar los. No, no matter. matter. No matter. No matter. No matter the problems or difference. Uh -huh. That you have. Hi, Ruth. She's, she's having some connection issues. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, okay. And what was your, what was your, what was your favorite uh, game or subject when you were a child? Well, my fa favorite game was Escondelero or... That's hide and seek. Remember. Hide and seek. Hide, yeah, hide and seek. Uh -huh. Hide and seek. Uh, hide and seek. And I, I like to play. I like to play with my neighborhood. Your neighbors. Neighbors. I like to play with my neighbors, and I consider that was a really good time. Could I spend time with them? I uh, know I cannot see them anymore because one of my best friends 
uh, moved to USA, but we still have a uh, good communication. Okay. So I still consider him as a friend. And Excellent. about my favorite subject, well, I don't have any favorite, but I like math. And I consider ah, that's that. Why I, that's why you study. That's why you study the accountancy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, because I can't decide what uh, what career I study. Okay. And I first I I was at business administration. Then I moved to public accounting, and I really like it now. And I think that I'm good on. And I like my current job. I started as um, in an internship. Then I got the job because my develop uh, or the performance in that company. And I consider that I want to grow up as a professional in this career. Maybe I could have a master degree in. Um, Finances. Finances. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. So uh, that's why I'm studying English because I want to get a better job. Awesome. Yeah. I suppose there are not a lot of accountants who are bilingual, so that's a plus for you. Uh, yeah. There, there are not many accountants, accountants that are bilingual, so I can get a better job in yeah. my. Uh, as an, a professional, even with a degree, sometimes the salary expectations are 500 if you cannot speak English, but if you can, you can uh, earn um, even 2,000 if you are bilingual. Bilingual, ah, that's yeah. good. That's why I'm starting. When I okay. started in this job, I have some knowledge, but it's not enough because I need to grow up in my vocabulary, in my fluency. I need to improve many skills. Okay, but I think that you're on the right path. Okay, you're on the right path. You just have to have more exposure, okay, to have less fear. Okay. The mistakes that you have to make. The main thing, I I get nervous, I'm a shy person, and sometimes I'm afraid to express my ideas, to express something in the class. Well, believe it or not, I was, I was shy uh, <laughs> when I began to learn English. So it's possible. You just have to believe in yourself and do it, pretending that nobody's listening. <laughs> <laughs> I will talk. All righty. So uh, I'm sorry for the the little child within you who was excited talking about your games, uh, things you used to do, things you used to like, things you used to watch. Okay. Uh, what was one of the questions that you liked from the list? Anybody who wants to share? One question that was funny or that was difficult to answer. I think in our group, in the group I I, I was, is the uh, was the last question. Uh, it was when you were a child. What did you want to grow up to be? Did you want to be uh, a mother, father, firefighter, a doctor, uh, a scientist? And we were discussing that when you ask for return <laughs> okay 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 so i think that we can keep that question okay it's a it's a very classic interesting yeah but important question to compare mm -hmm. right what you want to be and what you turn out to be so uh that's a question that my nephew asked me once but i to be honest with you mm -hmm. i don't remember saying oh, i want to be this i don't remember really well I remember that I, I used to like um, uh, 
drawing. And when I was uh, probably in high school, I thought about becoming a, an architect or before high school, I think. But I'm not sorry. So what do you, what <laughs> okay. do you yeah. Yeah, it's a long story. But, but you broke uh, your knee. <laughs> I broke my arm and I couldn't. So, um, what do you want to be? That's that's a that's a question. So, Beatriz, quickly. When you were young, you when you were a child, what do you want to be? What do you want to become when you were a child? Uh, when remember. I was, yeah, when I was a child, I I want to be a teacher, English oh, teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. But I, uh, but I, when I grew up, I decided to study something else. Uh, something yeah. else. Okay. Yeah, I, now I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Imagine this, there, there's a big difference. Yeah, you can tell that there's a big difference. But they're related. They are related. Education and law are connected. Um, Brenda? Okay, in my case, what I want to be when I was a child, it was I wanted to be a lawyer. Lawyer. <laughs> but then I changed as a Anna. And you're, <laughs> and you're in something totally different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Players. She's a hacker. <laughs> now she's a hacker, so it's related. Okay, now uh, Karen. No liar. <laughs> <laughs> liar. <laughs> That's correct. So, uh, Karen, what about you? Honestly, I don't remember if when I was a child, I I was thinking in what I what I, I want to be. Uh -huh. When I grow up, mm -hmm. okay, maybe a singer or dancer. Something, yeah, something different. That's uh -huh. right. that I don't remember. So, uh, quickly, I'm going to check that everybody's here. Okay, it's about time. So, uh, in the meantime, okay, to take advantage of time, you can share your um, your answer through the chat. And please pay attention when I call out your name, okay? So let's begin with the last from the list, Freddie. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, excellent. Blanca? I'm here. <laughs> yeah, now I see you. Very good. Next one is Jackie. I'm here. Okay, Janari. I'm here. Suleyma is not here today. Let's continue with Ruth. You were having some connection problems, right? I'm You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. It's Probably it's a connection problem. Rolando? I'm here. Okay, I'm here the next time. one. Thank you. Miguel? I'm here, teacher. Merlin? Maritza? I'm here, teacher. Nice, Karen. I'm here and I'm fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. That's we have uh, Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Marvin. Present, teacher. Laura. Don't Let's forget end. to share your answer through the chat, okay? Then we have Francisco. Present. Floor. I'm here, teacher. Diana. I'm 
I'm here. Brenda? I'm here, teacher. Mariela? I'm here. Elizabeth? I'm here. And Beatriz? I'm here. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to share the screen one more time so that you can see the next part. So we have some answers. Let me check. Somebody got it? No, no one sure what you wanted to be when you were uh, a child. So I, you can write it down and then we're going to check, right? What you, what you wrote. So quickly, monitoring, okay? Monitoring personnel. Uh, so what is the objective of this conversation? To provide effective strategies to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. So uh, the two sides, right? The two sides. Now, how difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? That's the question. So um, before we go to the conversation, we're going to answer those questions. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms one more time so you go and practice in purse, so you have more opportunities to express your ideas. So how difficult do you think it is to organize staff schedule? Think about a big company, right? That has, I don't know, 100 uh, employees. So how difficult is it to organize it? Or in a call center, right? Uh, there are people working in the morning, people working in the afternoon, people working at night, overnight. So um, how can, I mean, I mean, how can the computers help you? You think they are effective? No, yes. Okay, so that's what you're going to answer. Uh, and here we go. So I'm going to send you to the breakout room right now. Okay, so you have just two minutes, okay, to answer those questions. Okay, I set the invitation, please, to go to the breakout room. One, two, three, one, two, perfect. In this moment, I share you uh, my screen. Uh, let me. Thank you. Minutes, okay? okay. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, we start. We. I start. Excuse me. Okay, I was going to give you an extra indication, guys. As soon as you finish answering the questions, you will practice a conversation before we go back to the main session. Okay, so uh, the conversation goes like this. Laura, uh, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, so that's what you're going to do as soon as you finish. Okay, so you do the two role plays and then I will call you back. So I will give you three extra minutes to practice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Bye. And I can imagine that you have to cover a, a specific time. Okay, sorry guys to interrupt. I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to give you some extra time so you can practice the conversation, okay? Now that you are in the breakout room. So the conversation goes like this. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. 
yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, so that's the way that you're going to practice the conversation. As you are three people, you are going to be taking turns. Okay, I'm going to give you um, that will be five minutes more besides the okay. minutes that you have right now so that you can practice. Okay. Okay. Juan Jose, do, you, do you have? Bye. Was. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I just want I just want to tell you that uh, I need. Uh, uh -huh. What are you talking about? You're going to uh, practice the conversation, okay? So I want to give you four more minutes. Uh, so you go, you practice. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. So that's what you're going to do, okay? So you practice the two roles, be careful with the pronunciation, and that's it. So I will see you in five minutes more. Okay, teacher, thank, thank, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. I will tell you, Excel is the best tool that we can have in the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I you agree. Can, you can use all the rules that Excel has, uh -huh. and well, you can organize it very, very simple. But it's difficult to use it. It's mm -hmm. not just push a button, but is mm -hmm. you need you to learn a lot of it, things. Yes, uh -huh. If you can use it, oh, you will have a, a relax. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's like okay. to have a car. <laughs> If you know how to so drive it, it, it doesn't your, matter. It makes your life easier. Now, uh, yeah. I just want to tell you that you're going to practice the conversation now that you are in the breakout rooms. So it goes like, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. So that's what you're going to do. You have nice. four minutes, okay? Practice, and I'll see you later. Okay, okay. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Oh, are you are in church? In charge yeah. of? In charge of? In charge of is good. Okay, because... so wait a second. I just want to tell you, when, when you're in charge, it's good, okay? And now uh, I was going to tell you that you're going to practice the conversation, okay? So I will give you three more minutes so you can practice. The conversation goes like that, right? Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Ah, oh, I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. So that's what you're going to do, okay? Practice okay. and practice the conversation yes okay thank you it's not the question you already finished with the question you go with that yes yeah yeah, yeah. career hello guys hello there hello so i just wanted to tell you that you're going that you need to practice the conversation uh in the last three minutes that we have right now so the conversation is between oh, okay. uh, Gilbert and Laura, right? So Laura, how do you keep okay. the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Oh, I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. Sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. So practice, you have three minutes and see you later on. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So who you want to be, Laura or? Good question. Okay, hello, hello. Did you finish the conversation? Yes, teacher. In this yes, moment, we, we finished the conversation. Uh, between Laura and Gilbert? Yes, uh, we changed the, the numbers. Uh, okay, okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have two more minutes and then everybody will go back to the main session. Do you have any questions okay. about the pronunciation? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. No. <laughs> uh, Organize. I don't know how to to pronounce organis, organis. Okay, that's that's a good question. So in this case, the pronunciation is organized with the sound D at the end. Organized. Mm -hmm. 
organized. Organized. And you have the sound z, right? Z. Organized. 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 Yeah. Organized. Okay. And, oh, and teacher, uh, uh, for example, in I bet or I bet. bet. I bet. Okay. I bet. I bet it. I bet it is the per. I, I bet. It, I bet it saves. I bet it saves. Uh, I bet it saves a lot of time. Saves a lot of time. Yeah, I okay. bet it saves a lot of time. So you have to I, practice how to say it together, right? Try to say mm -hmm. it as fluently as possible. Okay, I bet it saves a lot of time. Okay, okay. Okay, the last, the second question. Did you finish the conversation? No. Okay, so practice the conversation right now. It is like this. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. To, way sorry. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. So you have one more minute to practice. Okay, thank you. Okay. Francisco, okay, you are Laura. Gilbert and I, Laura. Okay, okay, no problem. And the first, then we turn the, the roles. Yes. My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their special from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. To, I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, good, Jennifer. But we didn't answer the question. Mm, <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> because we were practicing the first question of the class. Ah. What's the yeah. joke, teacher? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. well, yeah. I'll believe yeah. you. I'll believe you. Yeah. <laughs> See you in a moment. Oh, Aaron, why are you laughing so much today? It's not that it's a problem, right? I'm just curious. She's fine. <laughs> no, uh, the, the were, were you practicing with Verlando? No? No? Okay. What happened with the teacher? Uh, uh, what happened with me? <laughs> I think the front is with me, but interrupted her. So. <laughs> no, no, no. It's so fine. So fine. Okay. So, guys, uh, we already had the conversation. We had the two questions. And um, I am going to select, okay, to. Uh, volunteers okay uh that will practice so i will choose jessica Yanari and miguel angel so one of you well miguel you're gilbert and jessica Yanari, you are uh, laura okay. okay ready set go uh, jessica how do you keep the schedule organized my staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I better save a lot of time. 
Yes, it is the best way, the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. And on time. Okay, there you go. That's for them, please. Thank you so much. Next one will be Mariela and Juan Jose. Okay. Okay. Juan Jose, go. Go ahead. I'm Gilbert. Okay. Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? Uh, my my shop is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is. The, it's the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Really good. Okay, don't forget to use the reactions. Francisco and Maritza, please. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the scab so organized? My staff is always complaining. Complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way, I bet, or bet? Bet. Bet. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Organized and on time. That's correct. So some of the tricky words here, some of the tricky words here are uh, organized because we have the sound z at the end, right? And we have z at the end. So we have organized, organized. organized. And then we have complaining, complaining uh, from the bird complain, complaining. Uh -huh, complaining. And um, bet, I bet, right? I bet it saves, bet it, bet it saves a lot of time, saves a lot of time. So, and the last one is efficient. Okay, efficient. So the last two volunteers will be Laura and Jennifer. Laura, you start the conversation. Jennifer, you continue. Yeah. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Jennifer? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. On their phones. That's correct. Continue. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it save a lot of time. Yeah. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. And on time. Okay. Class for everybody. Thank you so much. We're going to move on. As you can see, there are some words in the in the conversation that are in bold. Okay. So uh, the most efficient and the best way. Do you identify what, why these uh, these words are highlighted? Yes, teacher. Yes. Why? The superlatives. 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 Because they are the superlatives. It's like Superman. No. 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 But now let's right. talk about let's talk about superheroes. That's that's a good example, okay, to talk about the superlatives. Okay, so let's think about the Justice League. In the Justice League, we have Wonder Woman. Who else? Batman. Superman. Batman. Superman. America. Flash. Captain America. No, that's no. one of the Avengers. No, no it's, it's not possible. Alien, it's Flash, possible. Please, okay. Green Power Lantern. Rangers. Flash and Power Rangers. Power Rangers. And Chapulín <laughs> Colorado too, right? So, no. This is uh, <laughs> human. So, uh, in this, so we have, uh, <laughs> let's say the top five, the top five. So in the top five, we have the Flash, Superman, uh, Batman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Oh my God. Aquaman. 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 Okay. Okay. Man and woman, right? So, um, and the flesh. 
So, um, who, okay, we have five people, five superheroes, but there is one. The most handsome is Henry Cavill. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. So, um, girls, we're going to have a conversation in the breakout rooms in another Share class. The picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where you can talk about it. Why? Okay. Later, later today. Later today. Later today. Okay. So I'm going to create two breakout rooms, one for girls and one for boys, and you talk about the most handsome and the most beautiful people. Okay. Now, uh, but let's talk about superheroes, about their uh, abilities. Now, um, who is the strongest? Because Aquaman is strong, Flash is strong, Batman is strong, Wonder Woman is strong, uh, and Superman is strong. But who is the strongest, the number one from the five? Superman. Superman. It's the Superman. Superman. He's the Superman. strongest. So I'm yes. going to annotate Wrong. here. I'm going to annotate here, right? The example that you mentioned. Superman is the strongest. Okay, now one more. Yes, still. One more. Who is the fastest? Flash. The Flash. Flash. Flash is the, Flash. Flash. the Flash, Flash is the fastest. Okay. He can break the timeline. Uh huh. Okay. So, Flash who is point. the most beautiful? <laughs> Wonder wow. Woman. Woman. The most that's beautiful a, is Wonder that's not Woman. An, an ability. <laughs> yes, I feel okay. Yes. Well, she she uses the her beauty, okay, to captivate everybody. So you uh, a warrior. She's a warrior. That's correct. <laughs> so um, let's say that she's the most beautiful is Wonder Woman. Now, it's just an example, okay? Don't. Don't worry, you're going to have your yeah, moment yeah, to yeah. talk about Henry Cavill. And, okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, I, okay. I, I'm, I am not going to enter that breaker room, right? Because uh, we are recording the class, so I don't want to, to hear any comments that might be not appropriate for the audience. Now, um, we're going to, or pictures, as you said. So we're going to move on. And the next one, ouch, I got a to take um, is two simple questions, right? How does your company organize schedule? In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? What is overstaffing based on the conversation and the discussion that you have? Any too, idea? Too much people to do something in one too schedule? Many. Too many people uh -huh, working at the same time. And understaffing? When are less is the positive. How do you say Opposite. pocas personas? Pocos empleados. A few people. There are a few people or there are a few employees right to work. Not enough. Not enough. Uh -huh. Very good. So uh, that is understaffing. Imagine a call center with only three agents and 100 calls. So no way, Jose, right? Now, um, how does your company uh, organize schedules? I would like to, to hear a couple of volunteers, maybe some of you who work in a company that has a lot of staff and uh, different schedules. How do, how do, you, how do they organize the schedules? Maybe Karen, you are in uh, in the human resources area. Can you tell us uh, more or less how they organize your schedules in the, in, in your company? Uh, in our case, uh, we organize uh, depend on the demand of the client. So it depend of the of the chief that we have to cover. We have to count, to count uh, the hours, and we 
we count uh, how many people we need for cover these hours. Mm -hmm. And then we know if people need to be, need to do extra hours or cover an extra day or that kind of things. Okay, cool. Now, who works at a call center? I know there are some people here, but I don't know who's connected right now. Ruth, are you there? Ruth, who else? I think Mariela, no. Or in another company for that, they have a lot of uh, staff, so they have to create different schedules. In the last job that I was, they have an online site when we marcamos la hora and how do you say can... marcar how do you say marcar la hora i forget the word check check the entrance check the entrance it could be in uh well that's more Checking. for that's more for uh how, how do you call it? Uh, for a hotel, right? Check in and out. check out. Ah, yeah, this is for hotel. Okay, I understand. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so in this side, the, for a store or for branch, they organize the schedule for the, for the employees. Okay. So when you're trying to say that specific word, like uh, when you, I, sometimes you use your face, sometimes you use your finger, is clock in and clock out. Clock in or clock out. All right. When you put your fingers. Yeah, when, okay. I mean, there's a control of the time that you enter and the time that you go out. So you clock in when you arrive and you clock out when you leave. Yeah, the meaning clock in or clock out. Yeah, that's it's correct. correct. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. So, um, the most efficient way, uh, Brenda, you are one of the most technological people in this, in this class. So uh, okay. what do you think is the most efficient way to avoid these problems? Okay, question number two, right? Yeah, your opinion, right? Okay, I think, yeah, you have to use a tool. You have to be, to have the knowledge how to use a tool that allows you to make a schedule for everybody. So the, the, in that way, you can have control about how many people you are um, making work in one shift. And also you have to be aware about what work they will be doing because it's not just to put people there, it's also to know what they will be doing. So in that case, you avoid overstaffing and understaffing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point what Brenda says, right? You can have 20 people working, but what happens if the 20 people are in the same area and you need people in other areas, right? So you need to distribute the, the positions, not only the number of people, Okay, so there has to be one security guard, at least. There has to be at least one receptionist or one secretary, right? One assistant. Uh, there has to be, I don't know, a, someone as a manager or as a supervisor, right? So uh, that's another, another idiom uh, that I can share with you. When the mice away, the when the cat's away, the mice will play. That's what they say. Um, in Spanish, we have a similar one, right? Yeah. What is it? Can you repeat it, teacher? When the cat's away? When the cat's away, the cat's away, the cat's away, the cat's away. Yes. Uh -huh. So something like that. So in English, it's like that. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Now, um, it's in the chat. You can check it out. Uh, cool. 
So we're going to move on. Thank you so much, Brenda and Karen. Yeah, using technology to make a, to make a schedule, it's one of the best things to, to do. Okay, old school methods are not the best ones in some cases. Now, um, in the conversation, you had uh, some expressions, okay? We have one and two. Can you please complete these two sentences for me? Number one, that sounds... The most efficient way. Uh -huh. Most efficient way. That sounds like... The, wait, the most efficient. It is the best way, the second. It is, it is, it is the best. It is the best, best way. way to keep your stuff organized and on, and on time. And on time. It's the best way. Ah, way was already there, so it was just the best. Yeah, only the best. The most efficient and the best. Okay, so if you want to if you want to read or hear more about this topic, you have two links that can uh, direct you to uh, extra resources or external resources. Now we're going to go on. Show must go on, as they say, and we have the explanation. Okay, now is your moment for to talk about Henry Cavill and anybody else. So. How to use the superlative forms of the adjectives, okay? There are some examples in the box and we are going to try to understand, right? How to use it. So later we put it into practice. Uh, Rolando, can you please read the first line or the definition? The instruction or the definition? Uh, inst instruction that is here. Use the superlative form. When do we use it? Uh, for for an adjective to compare more than two persons or thing in a group. Correct. So to compare more than two, more than two. When you have three, four, five, etc., 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 and you want to get the the one that has the highest or the biggest quality, then you use superlatives. And the example that the ladies mentioned before. Is about Henry Cavill, who plays the role of Superman. So for a lot of women, there are many actors, many, I mean, you have DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, right? Uh, Liam Neeson, Denzel Washington, Will Smith, etc. Chris, et Evan. et Chris Evans, Chris, Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth, and all the superheroes. Now, um, but many people discuss, right? Like, who is the most famous? Who is the most popular? Who is the most handsome? Who is the, the richest? Uh, who has the best movies, right? So they try to get the number one, always. It's like in soccer. There are a lot of soccer players, Messi, Ronaldo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And people want to have this discussion, eternal discussion, right? Never ending discussion, like who is the best? Obviously, it depends on opinions. Okay, I'm going to uh, share another idiom with you through the chat. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So, it depends on who is um, observing or analyzing or giving the opinion, right? If you ask me, for example, uh, um, what is the most beautiful uh, destination in South America, I will tell you that is Cusco in Peru, because it's the only place that I have been to, <laughs> and I like it, and I like it, right? So. 
uh, Machu Picchu is, yeah, obviously the, the, the top uh, place for me. But somebody can say, mm, no, nah, teacher, I think that the most beautiful is Rio de Janeiro. Maybe this person went to the carnival and saw a lot of Brazilian people dancing and having fun. It was like, I love this place. Uh, or another person would say, no, for me, the most beautiful place in South America is, uh, I don't know, probably Colombia, you Medellin. said. Medellin, Colombia, right? So just for Cartagena, right? So um, it depends on everybody's perspective. So who is the most Ecuador. handsome, who is the most handsome actor for the majority of the students in this class? And they say, Henry Chris Evans. Cavill. Oh, Chris Evans. Okay, so we have, we, have, we have different opinions, right? Robert so, Downey Jr. for me. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. for Karen. So you see, that's the point. And in that moment, we use a superlative. When we are trying to say the one that has the highest or the, the top characteristic. If you want to say, for example, the countries in, in Central America, all the countries are beautiful, but every country has its own characteristic. If I ask you, in your opinion, <laughs> which is the most ecological country in Central America? The most ecological. Costa Rica is the most. Costa Rica. People Costa Rica. say that Costa Rica. It's Costa Rica for sure, 100%. Which is yeah. the smallest country in Central America? The smallest. El Salvador. <laughs> El Salvador, right? El Salvador. Salvador. Which is, is, the, which is the, the largest? Nicaragua. Honduras. Nicaragua. Nicaragua is the largest. Nicaragua is the largest. Yeah, in territory. It looks like Honduras, but it's Nicaragua. Okay. Uh, I have to learn geography. <laughs> you have to study again, yeah. And which is the most uh, cultural? country in Central America, the most cultural and historical country. El Salvador. El Salvador. El Salvador. El Salvador. Guatemala. 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 Okay. Guatemala. I ha I we have to be honest, right? Guatemala has more history, Guatemala. more more connection to the man. I like El Salvador. The... I like El Salvador. Now, 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 the now. Safest. Which one has the most beautiful women? In Central America. Oh, Salvador. El Salvador. El Salvador. Okay. El Salvador. Okay. El Salvador. El Salvador. Okay. El Salvador. I like El Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> now, the most delicious food in El Salvador? El Salvador. El Salvador. Most delicious food in El Salvador. Pupusas. 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 Right? All right. So, for some people, it's the choris, but that's an opinion, right? Uh, oh. The choris. Oh. <laughs> now, that's how we use it. I'm giving you the examples for you to, to see that it's not complicated, right? Something simple. Now, you have to learn the rules, of course, uh, especially for spelling, right? When you're writing and when you're speaking, you need to know when you're going to add E-S-T and when you're going to say the most plus the adjective, right? Uh, the rules are similar to the comparatives. So uh, I need a volunteer to help me read the first three examples, please. Somebody who can raise the hand. Jennifer, thank you. The first three the, examples. Mm -hmm. Jack is the fastest server that was the saddest moment in the ship. The busiest hour is during lunch. Busiest. The busiest. Uh -huh. Busiest. How are you doing lunch? Okay. And the last example, please. The, the most, most interesting customer come to our restaurant. To our restaurant. The most interesting, the most interesting. Okay. Customers come to our restaurant. So these are the examples that when the adjective is short, we normally use or add EST normally okay that's the rule we add est to the adjective if you say big biggest if you say fast say fastest if you say slow slowest hot hottest okay um if you ask me what is the hottest department in in the eastern area teacher 
I will tell you that the hardest one is not San Miguel. The hardest is La Union, La in Union. my opinion. Um, but San Miguel has more reputation of being the hardest. Uh, maybe because of the volcano, I don't know. Um, so when the adjectives uh, are long, they have two or more syllables, we normally just add the most, the most. So if you want to say the most delicious food in San Miguel is the pan migueleño, after the pupusa, right? Okay. It's the Total pan migueleño. It's like this big. Mm, it's like $5. Yes. yes. Two people can eat with one yeah. of them and it's really delicious because it's, it's a Indian, yes. Indian hand, right? It's not chicken. So you should try it one yeah. day. Now, um, so the most delicious food in San Miguel that is originally from here is the pan migueleño. So, or the, Miguel, yes. the migueleño sandwich, let's say. Um, um, absolutely, with eggs. It has a, yeah, boiled egg, Wonderful. potato. Mm -hmm. Wow, I try that. It's One a, leg. It's a, it's, <laughs> egg. Yeah, it's crazy. A quarter of the chicken. Yeah. I would love to try it. <laughs> You should. I think there, there's one in San Salvador. I'm not sure if it is in Santa Tecla, but they make them. I think. I'm not sure if it yes. is tamales migueleños or panes migueleños, but they they make them. Now, um, now, usually when the adjective is long, we just say the most. But if you pay attention, we always use the article the, the, the fastest, the saddest, the craziest, the funniest the best so we have the best and the worst that's those are the next two examples beatrice please help me out with those two examples on the right kitchen managers mm -hmm. have the best specials i usually receive the worst tips okay so uh in that case we are using the irregular adjectives right so adjectives that change the form completely it's a new word so what is the adjective for best the original adjective good good the comparative better better, better. better. and the superlative the best. best the best so i can tell you for example um in my opinion in my opinion, right? Uh, I could say that, speaking of uh, tourism, speaking of tourism, right? Here in the Eastern area. Uh, La Union it's I mean, La Union is a good destination, uh, but probably Morazan is a little better if you like the mountains. But in my opinion, Samuel has the best places to visit if you like the beach. So an example, right? So we can use good, better, and the best. So we have different levels, right? So the, be the best beaches uh, to swim and to go to get a suntan, et cetera, et cetera, is, uh, are located here in Samuel. Now, uh, an example. So these are irregular adjectives. Now what happens with the next one, with the last one, is just a rule, okay? So when it's one syllable, ESD. Or when it's two or more syllables long, we add the most. So in your opinion, for example, I'm going to mention three people and you tell me who you think is the most intelligent one, okay? Albert Einstein, uh, Charles Darwin, and... Leonardo da Vinci, no, that's a difficult one. So I think, I think I don't know the answer. So who do you think is the most intelligent from the three? I think Albert, Albert Einstein, Einstein Albert is the Einstein. most intelligent. He's the most intelligent of the three. Okay. Probably he was the most intelligent. Maybe in the second place, uh, Da Vinci, right? Because of his generation, his era. He was one of the most brilliant minds. And then Charles Darwin, could be. So uh, you see, there is always one that is at the top because of a little difference or a big difference. Now, uh, the called irregular adjectives, I already told you, right? 
So they have a different rule. They have their exceptions. So it's time to practice. Yeah, we have the time. Teacher, I have a question. What is the question, Rolando? Before to the... Well, I have a... I, if you have questions, you can ask me right now. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about the, the... That was the saddest moment in the shirt. The shift, yeah. Yeah, Saddest. we have the, the the word is sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you plus another D. Ah, you, 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 yeah, you duplicate the last consonant. That is a rule when, that I, there, when do you duplicate one? Okay, that's a good question. So uh, I think that I explained this in, in one of the extra minutes that we had, the 10 extra minutes. So right here, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry for the line. Um, so when the we have the combination, when we have the combination uh, consonant, vowel consonant, oh, well, at consonant. the end, at the end of the word, we normally duplicate the last consonant. For example, when you see the word hot, consonant, vowel consonant. So hot, the comparative is hotter and the superlative is hottest the hottest hottest the hottest <laughs> when you see the word for example um what is another one that we normally use for adjectives and we're comparing mm, big right big bigger we have consonant vowel consonant and the biggest okay the biggest okay so okay. um in those cases we apply the rule and for that reason we apply it with sad sad sadder and the saddest the saddest film the saddest movie that i have watched is the marley and i marley and i i think yeah, uh, I, I cry when I see movies related to animals, to dogs dying. So yeah, not nah, good. So um, well, I have seen K dramas that it, it's the most saddest thing in the world. That is the saddest, <laughs> the saddest. Yeah, the most saddest, the saddest. No, the saddest. Yeah, that is something uh, important. Saddest. Okay, sorry, that is something sorry, important. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's good that you make that mistake because that's the common mistake for the majority of the learners. So we confuse when we're speaking because we just get excited, right? And we forget about some rules. So for example, the one that we mentioned the last time, right? We say mejor and even in Spanish, some people say más mejor and you know that it's Ma not mejor. correct. So in English, the same happens. They say more better. And it's like, no. With the, with better is alone. It's not more better. If you say the the busiest uh, is not the most busiest. If you say the most interesting is not the most interesting test. Interesting test. No. Okay. So it's just one of the two rules, not the two rules together. Okay. Um, that's the explanation. Thank you for the question. Another question or comments before we move to the next exercise? No. No? Okay. So what you're going to do is basically to underline the correct word or phrase. Right now, you can use the annotation skill, I mean, the annotation tools. So please underline the one that you think is correct. If we have a tripa, somebody mentioned the other day, that's okay. Don't worry. You draw your line in the one that you think is correct. For example, here, number one, the most important. If you have problems to use that, you can use the lines that they are very straight. So please underline the words that you think is correct in the sentences two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, Jackie says that is okay Harvey very good thank you Jennifer Beatriz 
Blanca, what are you doing, Blanca? Okay. <laughs> the prettiest or the most pretty? Most popular or the more popular? Hmm. Okay. Arvin is answering to. Excellent. Let's take a look. Okay, we have a division. Uh, we have two opinions in the last one, so that's interesting. Uh, number two, uh, Harbin, can you please read number two? Don't use the best schedule as a reward. Sorry. As a reward. Okay, that's correct. Thank you so much. Number three, Diana. Jane is the fastest waitress. Jane is the fastest waitress, correct. Number four, I'm going to ask Jackie. Delivery orders are the most popular right now. Correct. Blanca, number five. The restaurant has the prettiest, prettiest decorations. Previous decorations, that's correct. And the last example, I'm going to ask. Ten, 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 ten. Wait a second. Where are you? Okay, here you are. So I'm going to ask Brenda to read the last one, please. Okay. The kitchen manager works the longest shift, I think. The longest shift, that's correct. So we use the longest, not just longest shifts. Okay, so uh, that's the exercise. Uh, thank you so much, Freddy's. Uh, you have a question or comments? Please, no? Okay, so guys, uh, no. So that will be all. Thank you so much. Uh, I am going to send you to, <laughs> I promise, I promise. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms quickly. And girls, you're going to discuss who you think is the most handsome one. And boys, you're going to discuss who you think is the most beautiful actress and actor, right, respectively. So I'm just going to give you one minute for that discussion and you have to get to a conclusion. You have to vote and the majority will win. And you tell me when you come back. So uh, let me recreate the breaker rooms. Uh, I'm going to create just two breaker rooms. And here we go. Okay, Francisco, I'm going to move you to the room two. Diana, room one. I think it's the first time that I did this, but I'm doing it just because of the big uh, controversy you were <laughs> generating. Uh, oh, so it would be, yeah, I, that's group first group pressure. That's right. So uh, Jennifer, you are in the wrong group. I'm going to move you to room number one. Only five boys here. Ah, oh, Karen is here. Uh -huh. And I'm going to move Maritza to room one and Ruth to the room one. Okay. So who is the most beautiful actress in Hollywood, and who is the most handsome actor in Hollywood? Okay, you have to vote and tell me the decision. Okay, the results. Ready, set, go. Just one minute. The actor, actress with the most votes will win. <laughs> okay, join the breakout room quickly.
beautiful. She is, she is so beautiful too. Yeah, yeah. But you I, get but to I, an agreement? No. No. Oh, yeah, hurry up. You have just 30 seconds more. <laughs> yeah, but I give your vote one by one. Give your vote. Okay. So to see who has more votes. Which actor yeah. has more votes? Uh -huh. Um for you. Yeah, Shannon Tantum. Okay. I, was, I was afraid. I was afraid. I was afraid. To I was afraid to enter this breakout room. To be honest, I thought you were going to have a picture. Okay, so. I would like to share. I would like to share one. That was a lot of adrenaline. One so, picture, uh, please. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Hurry up. Oh my oh, God. Oh. It's both. The name. The actor. The most popular actors. What do you, do you do? you decide who the most beautiful actress is in your opinion? The most beautiful actress. Yeah. Is Scar for me is Scarlett Johansson. Okay, but me too. Okay, so <laughs> three. Okay, Everyone so has a different opinion. This three votes. Yeah. Okay, Harvin. We think different. <laughs> for me, the... is Megan Fox. Man, man, folks, so, man, folks, but uh, but Scarlett has three votes, so Scarlett is the number one in this group, right? In this discussion. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that was a point. That was a point. <laughs> For me, is Margot Robbie. Margot, Margot Robbie. Uh, uh, yes, it's a. Yes, it's Scarlett. Teacher. We didn't finish. Oh my God, teacher. <laughs> we don't we finish. We were excited. <laughs> okay, but, but some people voted. Some people voted. No, only, only I That's voted. Fun. Not teacher. Okay, so please send the name through the chat so the person with the document can give the votes, right? Send the name through the chat. Your vote okay, through okay, the chat, okay, okay, quickly. Okay. So I already took the attendance, okay, as you were in the breaker rooms. Um, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> yeah, that is laughter is funny. Um, uh, like, the, no, like the, okay. the guy of the axle, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, let me just check the names. Uh, who's gonna be staying today? Well, Carla is not here, Francisco. Can you stay? Yes, I'm here. Hey, okay, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. So Maritza is here. So Maritza, can you stay Maybe. for the last 10 minutes? The yeah. extra 10 minutes? Yes? No. Not today? <laughs> no. Okay, so Francisco will take turns and then tomorrow we have Maritza. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so boats, boats. Uh-huh, I think there is a winner probably for, okay, boys, uh, can you please give the results of your discussion? Uh, I'm going to ask Freddy. teacher's favorite, Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> So there were three votes for Scarlett. I, I vote um, for Scarlett too. So Brenda, Laura, okay. So um, I don't get it. Brenda and Laura are the most. They vote. They we don't have to vote. vote. Ah, yeah. ah, they didn't vote. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were competing against um, Scarlett. Beatrice también. Chris. Laura says Chris. So uh, who is who's taking the votes? <laughs> who's counting the votes? Blackout, <laughs> is that you? No? Who's counting the votes from the girls? Jennifer. So Jennifer, tell us a winner quickly. Will you time Chris is up? Evans. Chris Chris Evans. Is the winner. Okay, so yeah. he's the most handsome for this class okay for the girls in this class okay so probably the boys have a different opinion about that <laughs> so thank you so much guys it was a pleasure to see you again 
And tomorrow we're going to practice a lot of superlatives. So you can study, you can watch a video, do some practice online. Okay, so tomorrow you are sharp, right? Um, okay. So take care of yourself. It was a pleasure to see you. Uh, rest, okay? Sleep as much Good as night, possible. Sir. Good night. Don't Good be night. like the teacher. Okay. Good Thank night. You, Good, Good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, Francisco. Okay, uh, this is your moment. <laughs> yes. Okay, tell me or ask. Okay, the last week we talked about that um, the true I have a, a big problem because um, I have a problem with the, with the current pronunciation, the different words. But I see the, the videos that you recommend. Um, is it less interesting? Mm, I don't know. But I, I know that uh, I need to improve the, the correct the, the correct pronunciation of my work I okay. need to know more more words for to uh, unir how do you say unir link or connect link or yes connect the more expressions more expressions. Mm -hmm. For example? For example, when, when I to need to say, um, I need to, I need to more more about the the, the 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 I need to more about the the situation, for example. And okay. For, for example, in my job, when when I know to when I know to know a. Uh, more about the the manuals or BOM in my work. The manual uh, the name is BOM. BOM. Material, yes, materials of building construction. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, for example, in in this case, it have more words. That I know to know how to how to do connect. How to connect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, probably something that you will need to do uh, is to create, or maybe you can download or find conversations online, and you can uh, practice them so that you see how people talk right on a, on a daily basis. So, uh, for example, something that comes to my mind right now that you mentioned that is uh, BOA. That is uh, BOA. BOA Learning English, Voices of America. This is from the US and it's an official website uh, where you can find. Uh, I will it's the news. Things. I will. You see the news, but in the same website, you have the. Um, have the levels of English. So you have oh, beginning, okay. intermediate, and advanced. And you can okay. watch many different videos. Every video is a lesson. It's a different lesson. 
and it's in, in, in context. Okay. So, uh, for example, if you uh, go to the beginning level, for example, it, the first lesson is welcome. Oh, okay. Welcome. So it's somebody in a situation that is a new person in the place and has different interaction with people. They have subtitles. Uh, you can uh, pause it, you can repeat it, you can move forward, backwards in the video and start watching the videos, okay, one by one. So you see how people interact and you can try okay. to practice uh, with, the, with the subtitles, right? Okay. Uh, in the below the video below the video there are extra resources for example there is a video about pronunciation there is a video uh, well there is a link there is a link for you to listen to the conversation without the video only okay. the audio only the audio you see the script you see the script and uh there is speaking practice speaking practice video so it's really really complete and i think that i will share this uh through uh in the breakout room so that i mean not in the breakout room but in the whatsapp group so that everybody can access to this Ooh, okay because it's really good uh just remember that it can be uh, okay. very useful for you and you can take that as a reference okay yes uh do you know uh any apps when I came to practice my uh, pronunciation? Uh, wait a second. I don't know why the camera goes off. Uh, by itself, it's very strange. Uh, well, there are apps like, uh, for example, in Duolingo, that is the most famous right app. Uh, where people can record themselves or say or repeat what what they say in the in the app, so um, that's one that I I would probably suggest uh, because it has speaking exercises, and also um, another one that my students tell me that they use is Cake, but I haven't tried it to be honest with you. So I don't use apps to practice English uh, normally, but if I find one that is good, I will share it with you through the group. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I remember that um, we have uh, co-workers that uh, they need to, like, that they like to, to, to have the, the, the same class, but uh, for the inscription is the, the similar that I, I do do. Yeah, they have to follow the same, the same procedure as you did. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay. Okay, so uh, if there are no other questions, Francisco, thank you for staying. I hope that thank this was useful for you. And thank you for you. Thank you for you for learning English. Uh, is the first time I to participate the clay class. Sorry, that English, but is is very very good for for me i like really i like the the, the class teacher okay thank you so yes. much I'm, I'm glad to know that yes i appreciate your comment and i hope to see you tomorrow okay have a good night bye, man teacher. good see night teacher. bye teacher. take care thank you